guys, Austin Robinson here. If you're familiar with my channel, then you're most likely familiar with Nick and Christina Capani. They are two of my very close friends and they've helped me out with countless videos and have been here over the years to just help me out with whatever I've been pursuing. And so today I'm actually going to be asking you to help them out. Earlier this week, they unfortunately lost their mother. It was very sudden, very tragic, and honestly, it was just heartbreaking for everybody. So the family has started a GoFundMe to help pay for hospital and funeral expenses. It would be incredible if you could just show them some love and support, make a donation to them. And if you don't have money for them, you could just leave a nice comment below. So I actually did this tie-dye portrait surrounded by sunflowers and I'm gonna gift it to the family. So I'm gonna take you behind the scenes on how I did each section. So my first connection with Donna was actually through tie-dye. I had made Christina some tie-dye shirts and then I showed up to the house one day and her mom was just like, are you that one that makes tie-dye shirts? Like, I love those, I want a bunch. So I ended up making her like between like 10 and 15 shirts for Christmas one year and then uh, she wouldn't share them with anybody. Like they were her shirts, no one else could have any of them. So I went with the tie-dye background just to kind of celebrate Donna and I's little tie-dye connection. I had Christina send me a bunch of photos of her mom. So when I do the silhouettes, uh, you can just like make a black and white photo and then just trace the face, but I try to take quite a few images so I can get as much detail in the face and hair as possible. So I used two different silhouette images for this particular one, and then I just went through and drew it all out with pencil first. After I did the pencil sketches, I went through with some uh, Copic brush tips and I did the tie-dye background. So I went for the Copics for the background and then I left the flowers blank. I originally was gonna do them tie-dye but I kind of wanted them to stand out and make it clear that they were sunflowers. So when I was doing the sunflowers, I decided to use Posca pens. My decision behind that was it just made the flowers actually look like they were sitting on top of the picture. It wasn't all just one color. It kind of like, it gave the picture some depth and I honestly, I really liked the way it came out. I was thinking about doing yellow, orange, and like red for the flowers, but then I was like, no, let's just keep it bold orange, and I'm glad I did. With this particular piece, I actually worked in reverse from the normal process that I usually do. I would usually ink something first, like I, I wouldn't even bother putting any color in on a pencil drawing. I would ink it all first. But for this particular one, because there was so much detail in the face, if I would have chose to ink it first and then added this, the brush chips would have kind of spread the ink a little and it would not have looked nice at all. There would have been black smudges everywhere. So for the first time working in reverse, I'm actually super happy with how it turned out. So that was it guys. That was the process behind my tribute to Donna Capani. Donna, we miss you. We all love you. And we all look forward to seeing you again in the future. So once again, go find me link in the description down below. If you can find it in your hearts to help out the Capani family or share the GoFundMe just to benefit them and help them out in this time. That would be awesome. Nick, John, Mike, Steve, Christina, if you guys are watching this, I love all of you. Always be here for you guys. And Donna, just know that your family's in good hands. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you Monday for my next art process video.